What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I got this TF40 Typhon by IFAM. This thing will ever focus. Wow, alright. This lock was sent to me a while back by PickMe1977, and uh, I never got around to picking it, apparently. I was packing away all my padlocks, wrapping them up, putting them away in boxes, and I saw it. I said, wait a minute, IFAM. I don't remember picking an IFAM padlock. And I went back in my videos to take a look, and I obviously haven't. So I am going to pick it now before I pack it away. Let's give this a shot, get that hair out of here. One problem with having long hairs, it's everywhere. All right. So let's get at her, eh? Oh, we got a false set out of two. Which feels like a spool in one. And I lost my there we go. I lost my false set, but I got it back out of two. This is three as a spool. Also lost my false set back to two. Got it back. So two is some kind of acid pin or something that likes to fall down. Four spool. Got it set. Lost it. Lost the full set. Back to two here. And we're open. So, just like that Ace Hardware lock, this has probably got a reduced diameter acetite barrel pin or something like that in pin two as a standard pin. The rest of them are spools, and you just do the dance back and forth, and get them open. Alright guys, thanks PickMe1977 for sending me this lock. Everyone else, take it easy. Don't break any laws. What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I think I lucked out again. This is uh, a key cutter, obviously. Uh, I don't know the brand. I think it's Chinese made or whatever, but um, what uh, I guess now is my favorite locksmith. Uh, they had this just sitting around collecting dust in the back and uh, they couldn't get it to work and I don't know if I'll be able to get it to work either but you know if history proves anything I'm pretty persistent and I might be able to get this to work so um, this is before I've done anything to it I've tried plugging it in and it just hums it's, it wants to run but it, it won't so I'm gonna open it up uh, play around with it a bit see if I can get this thing to run and if I do then you will see this thing running and I will be back. And if I don't, then you won't see this video at all. <laughs> all right, guys. Wish me luck. All right, guys. I've been playing with this. I got the uh, cover off here, as you can see. And um, I plugged it in first. And still, actually, when you go to turn it on, this is what you get. Actually, uh, it's the first time it's done that. And so this is what you get. Yeah. That's normally what you get. And what I have to do to get it to run is turn it. There's a point, I guess, where the armature's uh, kind of uh, loses its resistance. You can feel it when you manually turn it. So you turn it to a point, and then when I turn it on, it'll start up, albeit slowly. I was able to cut a key. So you can probably see what the shavings are on here. But um, it wasn't easy. <laughs> so... This thing, I looked at the back of the motor, and the motor is actually uh, uh, 220 or 240. Um, and as you know, in Canada and most of the uh, North America, uh, one, 110 is our standard, or 120, whatever you want to call it. This thing's 50 hertz, and we have 60, which isn't that big of a deal, but uh, it's the voltage. So, if you see the voltmeter on the top there. Uh, it reads at about 110, so that's what we got. Um, this thing is wired up to run on 240, uh, 50 hertz. So I'm going to have to find some way to give this thing 240, or maybe take a look at the wiring in the back there and see if the motor can be wired for 120. But 
who knows but either way it does work uh, some of the features that I noticed playing with it so there's this knob off the side here and if it's all the way in then you can crank this one around and if it's all the way out you can crank this one around and that's I guess for manual cranking but if you want to uh, or sorry for uh, I don't know actually why you'd want to crank it like that but you can just disengage one and use the other manually and it works pretty good um, this side is for actual like warded keys cutting warded keys and stuff so um, that's why it's got a different blade on it and a different uh, key holder and stuff anyway um, yeah that's pretty damn awesome so it works good um, I just have to give it the right power. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the update. I'll uh, let you know when I got more.